hearing some of the comments and uh, were you affected at all by the comments of uh, Coach Chot that he mentioned recently? Uh, uh, not really. I mean, uh, I mean for for me, it's, uh, it's got to focus on what I can control. And that's myself. So I mean, di na malat na tao alam yung lang yayare. So I mean, ayo na ako para sa akin. I don't see any problem. No, I don't see what's the issue. It's just for me. I just need more time to recover. Okay. Uh, to do to do more rehab for my back and to just be hundred percent ready uh, physically and mentally for the FIFA World Cup. So. I mean, I'm not really worried about uh, what people say. I mean, that's their opinion. But I'm not focused on what I'm saying because I'm not there to be a So yes. great. Sounds good. Um, yon, uh, yeah, Diane, that's really the right attitude to take because you know, with social media, and di mo talaga malaman kung sa mga galing yung mga bomba, no? But uh, yeah. so long as you know what you're doing, you're in the right direction. Your conscience is telling you what to do, and uh, you're getting good guidance from your parents. From your agents, from your managers, um, I think. And, and if you listen to SBP, then I, I think you'll be in good shape. But Kai, eto, malapit na yung uh, FIBA World Cup. Everyone's so excited. Yeah. Uh, Magkakaluro natin Dominican Republic, Angola, chaka Italy. Can you tell us how tough these teams are in the first round? Yung Dominican Republic, in their Full of players, kasama si Carl Anthony Towns, Al Horford at the Boston Celtics, pati si uh, Duarte kasama din. No? Yung Angola, meron silang NBA players, si Bruno Fernando. Tapos sa Italy, they have, uh, ang bilang ko, four or five NBA players and former NBA players, including si Datome, si Manion. So, these teams are loaded. They're locked and loaded. They're very competitive. What do you think are our chances? In beating some of those teams, guys. Yeah, obviously they're three very tough teams. Uh, for me, lahat ng teams sa World Cup is uh, tough teams. I mean, that's why they're all there. So, uh, I mean, yeah, sa so, yun yung nakikita na lahat. You know, all those NBA players, all those elite NBA players of those teams. But for me, all I see is opportunity uh, for me and for. Uh, for the team, uh, for the national, for Gilas, I think it's a good opportunity. As even though we, we're the host, we're still the underdogs of this uh, tournament. So uh, we may not be as talented as the other team, but uh, we'll never give up. I mean, puso ba? So I think uh, it's going to be a tough match. Lahat ng games na wala it will be tough. So. It will be a chance for us to show folks uh, that talaga tayo. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's gonna be. It's not gonna be easy, but uh, it's gonna be exciting. Okay, yeah. great mentality. Yeah. And Kai, I know that you're super focused right now on the World Cup and playing for the Philippines. Pero, uh, marami na nagtatanong, what's next for Kai after the World Cup? What are your plans? Uh, right now, talaga ang focus ko na talaga is yung World Cup. Uh, if I was to look at my calendar, uh, yung World Cup lang talaga yung last sa calendar ko. So, yung mga after ng World Cup, saka ako na yung DC film din. Focus lang ako sa World Cup ko, ah, sa World Cup, and focus lang ako sa rehab ko. So, yeah. ayun, like, day by day, uh, just to get better each day, and, uh, yeah, when we take the World Cup, we give everything, and then follow what happens after.